Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie the reverse vertical double half hitch knot. I'm using 5mm braided cord, which is a new product available in my shop. You can find a link to purchase in the description. Let's get started. For your setup, cut 5 pieces of cord, each piece is 2 meters in length. Fold each piece in half and attach to your dowel using lark's head knots. I'm going to start by tying a row of vertical double half hitch knots, then I will show you how to reverse the knot. You can either use a cord attached to your dowel or a new piece of cord as your working cord. I'm going to use a new piece of cord that is 3 feet in length. Starting on the left, bring your working cord behind the first two filler cords to tie your vertical double half hitch knot. Working your way to the right, tie four more vertical double half hitch knots. Next, I'll show you how to tie your vertical double half hitch knot so that the back of the knot is at the front of your work. I am unsure if this knot has a specific name, but I'm calling it the reverse vertical double half hitch knot. Cut another piece of cord that is 3 feet in length to use as your working cord. Bring the cord in front of your work, behind your work, in front of your work, behind your work, and through the loop. Repeat that process four more times. I'm going to tie one more row of vertical double half hitches and then one more row of reverse vertical double half hitches so you can see how it looks within a pattern.
As I said earlier, if you do not want these cords hanging from the sides, then you can use one of your cords already attached to your dowel as your working cord, moving it back and forth along your work as you tie your knots. Keep in mind though that this will use up quite a bit of cord, so you will need to add extra to the length. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, it would really help me out if you could hit the thumbs up below, and if you think this tutorial may be useful for others, please feel free to share it. I love to see your work, but sometimes I can miss it, so please tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you've used one of my tutorials or if you're using some of my ropes so I can see your work. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials. Thank you.